Detroiters Season 2, Episode 8, Hark Motors. This episode was utterly insane. I mean, they have, like, this crazy dude. They got the weird donor thing going on. And then him with his car and the robot. And also some of the commercials were absolutely hilarious. Because they make references in this show sometimes where I'm like... And I think I said this in the last, my last review was like, they make references where I'm like, I didn't realize that was only here. And this episode was, um, this one I, I, I really didn't understand, but the medicinal weight loss, that really surprised me. I was like, is that really just a Detroit thing? But that was a reference to uh, medical weight loss, the shape of things to come. And that's like the song, they actually sing the song and everything. And I was just like, that's nuts. I never would have thought that that was just a local thing. So that really caught me up where I was like, I didn't. I didn't even realize. I thought everybody knew medical weight loss, but it's even funnier because it's medicinal weight loss. It was for weed, but love this episode for sure. Like the Sam and Tim being pissed off at donor is just super funny to me. And they do like, um, getting hit by the car w with all the blood capsules, Ned, like they, I don't even know with him sometimes like, but that was super funny. Like, like he just came in and was like, Oh yeah, they got Tommy, they got Ned to help him out with the, you know, their little scam. It's like, well, you don't know what he did. And it's like, why would he say that? And then he says, I can't even remember what he said. It was something insane. It was like he took a dump in the lobby or something, like just super insane. But, you know, that's Ned. I'm just like, he's like, he's not even trying to help them. And then he's just like, all right, you know, let me know if you guys need me. He's like, yep, th thank you. Thanks, Ned. So super ridiculous with him. Um, all in all, the Hark Motors thing was just funny. Like that guy was legitimately insane. Like he made a crapping car, which, you know, um, the emissions and everything. I mean, that's, that'll be good. Um, but, you know, it was a crapping car that also cost $2 million a piece, which is insane. Uh, the robotic stuff, uh, you know, his girlfriend, the weird stuff with the shoes. I did, that was just funny to me where it was just like, you know, I hope you don't mind taking your shoes off. It's like, oh, no big deal. And wearing these, which were like silver platforms. And I was like, odd. So rich that he only goes down one set of stairs and up one, <laughs> another set of stairs. Him saying like, um, you know, my house knows what I want before I even want it and then the lights turn off it's like oh, I must be tired and he said that twice which I thought it was like and he said it like almost the exact same way when the lights went off the second time I was like oh I guess I must be tired it was like he just said that and it was super weird and it was like also funny at the same time him telling Sam was like oh you'll love this this is when I became an honorary black man which is why I get to say the n-word that was probably my favorite part and it was just like this is just nuts him when they try to sell him the pencil which they were terrible at but he's like, all right, you know, I'll see you guys later. And he just got out of the car. And I thought the exact same thing as what they said because they showed the location. And it was like, oh, is he just going to walk from here? Like, oh, that's a bad idea. But, you know, it was just super funny. So I, I definitely love this episode. I'm really curious where they're going because um, I think there was, I think it was before this this season actually started, they had a big trailer. Like, there's supposed to be an episode, I believe, where Donor does try to buy uh, Sam and Tim out. And I feel like like it's a legitimate thing where it's like they're like hey we want to legitimately buy the company and you know they kind of went through that before and i feel like there was another part to that or something like that or maybe that was just the whole episode was like them you know trying to buy them and that was you know that was all there was to it but they keep going back to it so maybe it'll come up a second time where it's like they maybe they won't try to buy them out but maybe you know partner up with them or something else but or like they you know keep bringing it back that seems to be like the overarching thing uh, as far as this season them this episode specifically them stealing all the clients off uh the old couple and stuff which is super funny it's like go wait in the car it's like go wait in our car um the guy with the uh super illegal you know the copper stuff he had a new service where it's like if your car just so happens to have its window busted out and the radio stolen i can replace that window and radio so i assume he's a part of uh said you know destruction there just based on that character but definitely entertaining um the medicinal weight loss character was super weird which i also thought was funny but as usual hilarious episode definitely loved it um i forgot what the next episode was going to be but I i'm looking forward to it regardless of what it's going to be but this one was definitely um a highlight like so far this is probably i would say this is probably my favorite episode like this uh farmer zach was just really good and then I don't know. I would say those are my top two right now. I'd have to like go back and there's like full episodes. I would kind of have to go back and be like, all right, what's well, like legitimately just a full favorite episode. This I would definitely say would have to be one of my favorites though because it was just so ridiculous. Uh, the boner thing I thought was super funny too because I'm so immature. But that was funny to me. I, I love that. But all in all, definitely a good episode. Um, Tim's brother. That would probably be my other like top episode. 
but this is definitely a funny one of course we'd love to know what you guys thought about it so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it your least favorite parts about it and i would love to know what you guys think about the kind of ongoing storyline with sam and tim versus donor and how that's playing out with them, especially with them now kind of up in the ante where they're starting to steal their clients which may or may not actually you know impact the show where it's like oh we might actually you have to shut down legitimately or how that's going to play out but we'll love to know what you guys think about that becoming a recurring element for this season and just in general you know what you guys thought about this episode so please put your comments down in the comment section below and of course thanks for watching